Doctor, let's let's start with uh, cholesterol. How did it get to be such a bad guy, and and is it as bad as we've been <laughs> we've been told? So the question is, uh, is cholesterol a bad guy? Well, you know. It really dates back to the days of Eisenhower. Uh, you were a little young for it. Yeah. I was around, uh, I don't know, eight years old or something when he got elected. And, and I even I remember as a kid when he had a heart attack, you know, people were blaming it. Even my, my own dad, he was, you know, he says, oh, he ate bacon and eggs and this and, and butter. And, and that's where it sort of, you know, it got unleashed mm -hmm. was Ike because he had a heart attack in office. And then, um, you know, things just started to get steamrolled. Uh, there was the McGovern Committee and the Nixon that uh, were trying to look to change things about public health, and, and they sort of vilified fats. And then Ansel Keys came out with his uh, data, and, you know, the, the six-country study, the seven-country study, the 22-country study. And what Keyes did, he sort of cherry-picked his, his, uh, his, his data, and it showed a linear relationship, meaning that, you know, if you're in Australia, Great Britain, the USA, you know, Greece, Japan, you know, all those different countries, he sort of cherry-picked his data showing a linear relationship. The higher your cholesterol or saturated fat, the greater your incidence of heart disease. But when you put in the 21 countries or 22 countries, there's no relationship. So that's how it got started. Um, and then, you know, the, the margarine scene came on, you know, the corn oil margarine, uh, you know, where, where the trans fats came in. In other words, butter got vilified, eggs got vilified, whole milk got vilified. So when you engineer a trans fat like a margarine, then the incidence of coronary disease skyrocketed. And it was around that time in the late 80s and 90s where people started to question the cholesterol theory. And uh, for me as a cardiologist, I questioned it really about 30 years ago uh, when I received my cardiovascular boards, uh, even more than that, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so, so for me, it was, I believed in the cholesterol theory. I believed in the Framingham data. I, as a cardiologist, I just bought it hook, line, and sinker. But then I started to question it. And when I did thousands of my own coronary angiograms, and I didn't see a relationship between cholesterol and coronary artery disease, then I questioned it. And eventually, when Johnny called me to write this book, The Great Cholesterol Myth, it was just a perfect fit for me.